Hey, what's up, guys? Evil Ride 94 back with some more Toy Fair 2020 coverage here. We have the Bluefin um, Bandai Tamashi area or booth of the convention center. Um, I just wanted to give a, a little shot of the entrance because this was my first Toy Fair. So it was pretty cool seeing everything being in the event, something that I'm used to seeing uh, through a computer screen normally. So it was kind of surreal for me. So it was cool. Um, and just seeing all these big toy companies, toys that I collect and, and love reviewing and love, uh, you know, talking about, you know, I was there talking to them. So pretty cool. So first we are taking a look at the figure rise model kit stuff, which seems to be doing very well because it still exists till today. A lot of model kit guys out there. And I like the figure rise stuff because it doesn't require any glue or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. You just snap it together. Uh, and this was the main attraction for me. I, I've been wanting a grade 8 Vegeta for the SH Figuarts line. Um, it's among my list of, my very long list of wants for the line. Um, I never expected the grade 8 Vegeta to ever happen. It was just one of the things I showed up on one of the surveys years ago. And I was like, oh my god, that, that, that would be a great figure. That would be cool. But I don't think they'll ever do it. And here it is. <laughs> so it's coming out. Pre-orders already went up. And it's exciting for me. So, uh, Captain Ginyu, they showed it once again, prototype. Uh, and they keep teasing in the background uh, the rest of the Ginyu forces. Just a shadow of the rest of the crew there. So, they're teasing that you're going to get the entire crew. I'm going to estimate or take a guess that we're going to get the whole team completed by the end of the year. I know it seems like a stretch, but I think it can get done. I think they're going to release them all by the end of the year for sure. And then, they did have uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. So we've seen this plenty of times before. It's gone through a few upgrades since the first unveiling, but it looks so good in person. It's got some battle damage, battle uh, scarring on the on the body, which is cool for added detail. And this was the new thing they showed off. Uh, this was the first um, exhibition, the first reveal, um, or the first event this has shown. It's the uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegito remake, because they did do a repaint. Uh, for an uh, event exclusive, but now this is just a remake of the figure because it's on the 2.0 body now. Uh, this is the Jackie Chun, which is super awesome, and the Dragon Radar Propica. So the Dragon Radar, I just reviewed it. Uh, check it out. It's on my channel if you want to check out what the Propica looks like and what it has uh, in store for you. Uh, this is, I think this is a new line they're doing. It's almost like a model kit as well, entry grade. I'm not sure. First time I've seen it, they look like statues. But here's some more figure rise stuff. We have Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and Goku. And then we have Gogeta fused there. And uh, I'm just waiting for the Super Saiyan 4 uh, SH Figure Arts figures to come out. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> that's another uh, pair that are on my want list for sure. Super Saiyan 4 forms uh, for sure. So here are some still images of the Dragon Ball Z stuff. Um, before we get into all the other stuff in the Bluefin, uh, blah, the Bluefin booth, uh, let's just take a look, a quick look at some stills of what we just went over via video. Um, and everything looks good, man. As a Dragon Ball Z fan, I'm super happy. I'm, uh, I wouldn't ask for anyone else to have this license right now. So definitely happy. So now that is it for Dragon Ball Z. If you were just here for that, that's going to be it. So I guess you can log off the video. But if you want to continue seeing everything else Bluefin had in store, just uh, stay on the video. We have Star Wars stuff here. So, I just went ahead and recorded everything here. These are not SH Fjords. I, I, I can't remember what line this is, but they're just vehicles. They look like little mini uh, statues, but they look really cool and highly detailed. Uh, it says it right there. I, I just missed it, but uh, I, I can't remember what the name of the line was. I apologize, but it looks real good. It says uh, Optic Model, seems like. Maybe they're mo oh, Plastic Model. Sorry, <laughs> but they look real dope in person. So we've seen these before. These are like the samurai version of these characters. So we have Stormtrooper. Um, you saw back there that we had a uh, Kylo Ren. We have an Akbar in the front there. We have a Captain Phasma. There seems to be a fan or a, a you know a, a following for this line because it's still going pretty strong. So that's surprising. And from Star Wars, we're jumping into Marvel. Looks like we're gonna flip and flop because we haven't gotten to the figures yet. Um, of uh, Star Wars, but it's coming. Um, this is some Marvel stuff they had on display here. And then we're going on to the SH Figuarts Marvel stuff. They only had the battle damaged uh, Iron Man, Spider Man, and Captain America, which we've all seen before. Pre orders went up already and all that good stuff. But seeing it in person is pretty cool. 
Um, I wish it was more battle damage, but I guess they have a limit. They can't go into the bloody or too bloody or too detailed in the damages. I don't know if that's a thing, but I've never really seen blood on any SH Figures figure ever. So here we have the worthy cap, which looks pretty dope in person. You know, everyone's going to get their hands on this cap. So very cool. I think uh, these are better than the previously released regular uh, versions of those figures so in case you want to get rid of those and get these and there's an option but here are some model kits of star wars and these look so good really especially that 3po look how shiny that is these are model kits insane they look like sh figures pretty crazy look at that boba fett it just looks so so good in person so beautiful it's nice um so definitely if you're a model kit collector th these are really nice and if you're a star wars collector that's even better so that's pretty much it. I don't think they had any SH figures Star Wars. I thought they did, but I guess I got it mixed up with these right here. Now we're going into an area where I'm not too familiar with, but they, I mean, they make awesome figures and that's the, that's Storm Collectibles. So uh, awesome figures. I wish I was more into it. I wish I had more figures from them, but I don't at the moment as of the recording of this. But they, I mean, look at these. These look so good. So good. So in person, these look nice. As you see them in the video, they look just as nice as well. So, pretty cool stuff there. So, while we're going through this stuff here, um, I'm just going to go back to talking about DBZ because that's my uh, that's my love right there. That's my uh, bread and butter there. I love Dragon Ball Z. So, uh, I'm not too familiar with these characters. So, as you're seeing these for your viewing pleasure, um, I just want to talk about what I hope we can see from the... Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball in general SH figures line uh, and hopefully you guys down below can let me know what you're looking forward to but look at that Motaro how cool is that sorry I'm getting distracted but that is cool and that's just a prototype as you see it's not painted or anything articulated and everything so nice but anyways as I mentioned earlier the Dragon Ball GT arrow stuff I know not a lot of people are fans of that stuff but I can uh I mean, I hope we can get that in SH Figures form. They're making it for figure eyes. They're making it for Dragon Stars. They're making it for statues and Ben Presto. They're making it for everything but SHF. So it's driving me nuts. You know, I, I, I would love to see it come to SH Figures. They teased a SS4 Goku many years ago, which kind of got dumped by now. So uh, hopefully they do bring it back onto the table because uh, there, there are plenty of people that want those, at least the Super Saiyan 4 forms. Here we're looking at some DC stuff too, as you can see. And then these are really cool. We got Bane, Dark Side, um, very nice looking Storm Collectibles figures. But yeah, SS4 at least for the very, you know, at the very least, give us those forms and SS4 Gogeta. And then hopefully, if if it does well enough, maybe we can get a Omega Shenron. Maybe we can get a Nova Shenron. The those two main uh, baddies from that saga. And if it and and if that does well enough, which uh, that would be amazing, if we can get the the short hair Vegeta, baby Vegeta, I mean, gosh, you know, it would be awesome because we don't have enough figures of those line or of the of that saga, I guess I should say. Uh, here we're looking at the monster arts. This is the Godzilla, very cool, super awesome articulated Godzilla, probably the best out there, uh, right next to NECA. So these look cool in person and if you're a Godzilla fan I'm sure you're pretty stoked for this here um so yeah you guys let me know down below what you're looking forward to I know a lot of people have a long list I mean I have a long list too we're, we're still missing Raditz we're still missing Bardock we're missing a lot of people so uh it, it makes me excited at the same time because you know the line's gonna last for many many years so because there's so many other characters still to come and they're releasing almost one figure every month two to one figure every month so a lot more figures than what they used to. They used to only release three or four figures per year. So pretty crazy. We're getting a lot more every year. And we still have plenty of characters to go. Um, so definitely uh, just just excited to see what's in store. The common writers here. We had uh, some Ultramans as you, as you can see there. They had a lot of stuff on display. They definitely had a lot more than others. But that's because Bluefin distributes so many. You know, they had the Storm Collectibles as well too. And uh, Bandai Tamashi makes a lot of different lines as well, too. So a lot of things to show. Uh, they even had a few uh, statues back here. Um, so just a quick look at this stuff in case you guys were curious. And I have to say that Bluefin had the best 
setup i think in the toy fair the best lighting for sure it was very kind to my camera uh if you looked at my other coverage uh videos of diamond and of uh, mcfarlane i had to dim and light up the brightness uh you know go back and forth because uh the lightings were all so different the top shelf was more lit than the bottom shelf so i had to play with the uh, I the iso on my camera a lot but with this uh, bluefin set up I, I did not have to do it so much so that was nice at least um, and look how cool these figures look just for using their bodies you know you could just head swap use those bodies for something else that business suit's always nice the business uh, female body too is nice to use for other things for setups for acba stuff and, and whatnot uh, so and then we're going to get into the pokemon stuff on the left here which is what's going to pretty much end the video so these are not uh, SH figure arts. They do make SH figure arts Pokemon, but they haven't really revealed anything new for that line. They've just been doing remakes. Uh, but these still look cool nonetheless. But anyways, that's going to be it for the Bluefin booth at Toy Fair 2020. Let me know what you guys uh, thought of the setups here and what was your favorite figure. I know not a lot of things were shown, especially with DBZ. Only Vegito was shown uh, brand new. Um, but nonetheless, still, uh, what was your favorite thing on display? Mine's still Grade 8 Vegeta, even though we've known about it for months now, you know. Uh, it was just so awesome seeing that thing in person. I cannot wait to get my hands on that figure. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this. Stay tuned for more uh, uh, more coverage videos and figure reviews, too. Um, and that does it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye.